at Summit Schools is working on a project to educate the community on their evacuation route in case of an emergency. They learned about the nuclear power plant in Palo and the potential for disaster, and that got them thinking. We want to convince them to look up their evacuation route. Part of their project was reaching out to local media, and that's why I received their email. It's literally all them. I am just here to make sure that we're going in the same direction and everybody's working together, but it's their project. The kids are also calling around to local grocery stores and pizza shops. Can I speak with the manager? To see if they can put flyers they designed in grocery bags and pizza boxes. Hi, my name is Sam and I'm a third grader at Summit. When they ask me a question, it's, it's not my project, it's yours. Find your own answers. <laughs> then how to use the Roots and Shoots program in order to find a problem that our community is having and in order to solve that problem. Um, other ways that it kind of fit in perfectly with our curriculum was in writing. The students had to persuade our community to look up their evacuation routes and they wanted to do an editorial for the newspaper. So our winter term is persuasive writing so we just instead of doing you know why I shouldn't have to do homework on the weekends, the students did write an editorial for the newspaper instead. The first thing we did was map out our community. After we were done mapping out our community, our teacher told us about an evacuation route. So then we decided to ask some of the families and staff members if they knew their evacuation route. When we came back the next day, not a lot of people knew, so then we chose it as our campaign. After we chose it as our campaign, we split it into four groups. One group did made postcards and flyers, another group made a commercial, and then one group got us onto the news. You guys, guess what? We got our grant from Roots and Shoots. Yeah! I think anyone who is interested in a Roots and, doing a Roots and Shoots campaign in their classroom should definitely take the online course because it shows you the structure of how the program's laid out and how if you do the steps by steps, it is a lot easier for the kids to um, accomplish their campaign. The most rewarding part about working with the students on this campaign was watching them be able to take the knowledge that they've learned throughout the years and apply it to their new campaign. 